Hi, today we are going to look at equations of straight lines and particularly the double intercept form. The equation reads, determine the equation of a line perpendicular to the line 3y minus 2x is equal to 4, passing through the point negative 2, 0 and express your result in the form x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. Now that is the double intercept form. Hence, state the value of a and b. We are given the equation 3y minus 2x is equal to 4. This represents equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line we are asked to determine its equation. We have two lines. Let's call this line 1. And line 1, its equation we already given us 3y minus 2x is equal to 4. And then we also have line 2, whose equation we do not know. Well, from the fact that the two lines are perpendicular to each other, we will be required to get the gradient of line 1. And that means we'll have to express its equation here in the form y is equal to mx plus c. Remember, m represents the gradient and c represents the y-intercept. We are interested in the gradient, so let's express this in this form. We'll have 3y minus 2x is equal to 4 2x will cross so that you have 3y is equal to 2x plus 4 and then dividing all through by 3 we will have y is equal to 2x over 3 plus 4 over 3. You can see in this form we already have y is equal to mx plus c. That means the gradient of line 1 is 2 over 3. This part here represents the gradient, which is m. Given that we have the gradient of line 1, we know that for two lines which are perpendicular to each other, like we have line 1 and line 2, then their gradients are related by having the gradient of line 1 by gradient of line 2, their products, should be equivalent to negative 1 and therefore if line 1 is 2 over 3 we will have 2 over 3 times the gradient of line 2 that should be negative 1 when we work out this gradient of line 2 should be equal to negative 3 over 2 now given that you already have the gradient of line 2 it is important to note that for us to get equation of a given line, we need the gradient, which you already know is negative 3 over 2. Remember, we are required to know the equation of line 2. So we need its gradient, which we already have. We also need a point on that line. And we are told that the line passes through point negative 2, 0. We have point negative 2, 0. And the next thing is an arbitrary point, x, y. There's a general point, x, y. Now with these requirements, we can therefore get the equation of line 2. We therefore say, equation of line 2 is obtained by using the formula for gradient, and that is change in y over change in x, and gradient of line 2 is negative 3 over 2, and that should be equal to change in y here is y minus 0, change in x is x minus negative 2, x minus minus 2, that is x plus 2. So from here, when we cross multiply, we are going to have 
negative 3x, that is negative 3 by the whole of this, minus 6 is equal to 2 by y, that is 2y. Take note that we are required to express this equation in the form x over a plus y over b is equal to 1, that is in the double intercept form. And again, the reason why I'm saying it's a double intercept form, the value a and b represents the x and y intercepts respectively. So a is the x intercept, b is the y intercept. Now, that is what I want us to achieve here. We will have 2y being on the left hand side and negative 6 crossing to the right hand side. So we have negative 3x minus 2y is equal to positive 6. The aim is to make the right hand side 1, so we'll have to divide all through by 6. And that should give us negative x over 2 minus y over 3 is equal to 1. Once again, just to remember, we are told that our equation should be in the form x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. So what you are going to do, we need to take note, if you are given a number like negative a half, this can also be written as 1 over negative 2. So our aim here is to bring the negative on the numerator to the denominator so that we have x over negative 2 plus for the second part we have y over negative 3 is equal to 1. And there we have the equation in the form required. We can take note that for this case the value of a is negative 2 and the value of b is negative 3. That means the x-intercept is negative 2 and the y-intercept is negative 3. a is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to negative 3. And finally, we have stated the values of a and b as required. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.